What's going on everyone and welcome to a brand new Warframe video. I'm Boss Phoenix and if you saw yesterday's video, or if you're watching this in the future, the video right before this one, you know that the Stalker Acolytes are back in town and they brought a whole bunch of goodies with them. If you're newer to the game, go back and watch the video before this one so that way this one makes the most sense. Anyway, I wanted to put together a little checklist slash demonstration of all the mods you should definitely get out of this event. Now, ideally, you try to get all of them, but these are the ones that I found to be most useful. Now that we got that out of the way, let's jump in. Body Count is our first mod on the list, and this one is pretty simple to understand, but it's pretty much essential for most modern crit melee builds, and lucky for you, it's an extremely common drop. All it really does is increase your combo counter reset timer. This allows you to chain together combos and raise your multiplier without having to worry so much about it resetting. Blood Rush is our second mod, and it's probably the most sought after on this list, which unfortunately means that players are selling it for a ton. Also, it's stupid rare for some people, which means it could take a bit of farming to get. I will tell you though that this mod will pretty much change your life. Essentially, Blood Rush raises your melee weapon's critical chance as your combo counter rises. It's really important that you use Blood Rush in conjunction with Body Count as you'll have more time to stack your combos and gain more crit chance. Also, I should mention that this mod is pretty much responsible for the red crit melee meta, so that's kinda awesome. Maiming Strike is a super simple mod, but it's great for weapons like the Orthos Prime or even the Boltace that have either insane range or crazy high slide attack damage. Basically, Maiming Strike gives a flat 90% increase to critical chance, but only when slide meleeing. This is fantastic for people that usually only use melee weapons for this purpose. Additionally, Maiming Strike crits will still proc Berserker, and they're also increased by Blood Rush. Moving on, Hydraulic Crosshairs is our next mod, and it's basically Argon Scope for secondary weapons. Whenever you get a headshot with a weapon that has Hydraulic Crosshairs equipped, you'll receive a flat 135% bonus to critical chance while aiming down the site. This mod is fantastic because with it, you can bring certain weapons into red crit territory or just make some other weapons more crit viable. Keeping with the theme of secondary mods here, Sharpened Bullets is next on our list and this one is pretty simple as well. It's basically just the critical damage counterpart to Hydraulic Crosshairs and instead of activating on headshots, it activates whenever you kill an enemy giving you a 75% boost to critical damage. Pressurized Magazine is our last pistol mod and this one isn't super essential to have in my opinion, but it does work really well with a few different secondary weapons. For example, in this footage, I'm using it on the Axtoletto Prime, which is the status weapon. For those of you newer to the game, for certain status procs, the faster you can apply them, the better they perform. Corrosive, for instance, is hugely effective with this strategy. Anyway, the mod triggers when you reload your weapon and grants you a 90% increase to fire rate while aiming for 9 seconds. You can take this mod or leave it, but I love having it around. Just keep an eye on your ammo pool if you're going to use it. Jumping over to the rifle category of primary weapons, we have two mods I wanted to gloss over quickly. The first of those is bladed rounds, and all this mod does is increase your critical damage by 120% while aiming upon killing an enemy. Think of this one as just the primary weapon counterpart to the sharpened bullets mod we just covered. Our second rifle mod is Argon Scope. Argon Scope is up there with Blood Rush for being one of the most sought after mods of the Acolyte event. It's extremely rare and increases your weapon's critical chance by 135% for 9 seconds every time you get a headshot. This mod single handedly changed the way a lot of people build their weapons nowadays and you can bet that you don't want to miss out on getting one for yourself because if you do, Rest assured that someone in trade chat will jump at the chance to sell you one for an exorbitant amount of platinum. Lastly, we have our Acolyte shotgun mods, and while there are a handful of them, I only really want to focus on two of them, seeing as personally, I haven't really found a use for the others. The first of those shotgun mods is Shrapnel Shot, and it's essentially just another crit chance mod and functions exactly like bladed rounds and sharpened bullets. It gives you a 99% crit damage increase while aiming for 9 seconds upon killing an enemy. Nothing too special here, but it's super good to have for weapons like the Vacor Heck. And you probably guessed it, our second shotgun mod and the last mod on this list is essentially the Argon Scope for Shotgun's counterpart. 
It's called Laser Sight and gives you 120% critical chance while aiming for 9 seconds after you get a headshot on your enemy. This is super easy to trigger with shotguns since you only need to be reasonably close and pretty much just need to aim high. But that's gonna do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure a lot of you have opinions on other mods you think players should get out of this event, but I really wanted to cover the hot ones in the community right now. The other mods in this event aren't exactly useless per se, but I don't think they're as good as the ones I just listed. In the end though, it really all comes down to your playstyle, and to be totally honest, you should try to get every mod offered in this event. Anyway, it's been a pleasure making this video for you guys, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then do Big Daddy Bouse a favor and slap that like button because it helps out more than you know. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I personally hand deliver high fives to every new person that subs, and you don't want to miss out on that. But until next time, I'm Bouse Phoenix, I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.